Austin Company, pioneer designers and builders of television stations, takes you behind the scenes in this series of telecasts to see how television ticks. Haven't you wondered sometimes how television takes your eyes and ears to distant points? Wondered how the pictures of television are put together? Well, the Austin Company invites you to come in and see. Here, separated from the theatrical atmosphere of the television studio by a glass window and connected by wires and cables, are the director and engineers who select and shape the television program you see and hear on your receiver. These people who control the quality of television pictures and sound can be compared to motion picture editors who judge and assemble camera scenes and soundtracks. They can do their work over a period of weeks, can ask that scenes be retaken in an effort to reach perfection in picture and sound. But the television director must present his assembled pictures and sound instantly to the television audience. There is little opportunity for corrections. With every live television show, he seeks the perfection expected of an opening night on Broadway. The director and engineers have an unobstructed view of the studio through the soundproof window. They are in contact by headphones with the cameraman, stage manager, and others on the stage. And the director sees on viewing screens the picture each camera is taking, as well as the picture being sent out over the air. The screens are numbered to correspond with numbers on the cameras. On this farmhouse set, camera number one is taking a picture of Widow Jones, her son, and the villain. The same picture appears on the lower screen, indicating that this is the picture being transmitted. Camera number two is picking up the actress only. And camera number three is focused on the door to cover a bit of dramatic action there. The director can call for the picture from another camera, and by the turn of a switch, the television audience sees a close-up of Widow Jones. The cameras, equipped with proper lenses, might be placed like this for picking up such a melodrama. Camera number one is back a little to take in all of the characters. Camera number two is closer and can pivot to pick up a full face view of any one player. And camera number three is over to one side, focused on the doorway. While the director watches the program and selects his pictures from the point of view of showmanship, the video engineer nearby views it for electronic picture quality. He produces the best television picture possible by precise adjustments for focus, brightness, and delicate variations in shading. Also in the control room is the switching engineer, who follows instructions from the director in switching from one camera to another. He may change pictures instantly, fade from one to another, or superimpose one picture on another for special effects. The sound engineer, too, is close by, supplying transcribed music and controlling all sound which is broadcast simultaneously with the picture. The continuous flowing performance which the audience sees and hears instantaneously with the original action and sound is the result of split-second teamwork on the part of these television specialists. So the combined picture and sound streak from the control room to the transmitter by cables or radio relay, and from the towering antenna to the television receiving screen. All of the programming facilities and complicated electronic equipment which are required to bring television into your home are taken into account by the Austin Company in the design and construction of television and radio stations like the NBC Radio City of the West in Hollywood. The KGO Transmitter Building at Newark, California, the television studios of WEWS Cleveland, KOMO in Seattle, Washington, and many others. Austin television and radio station designs like this are known as controlled conditions buildings. Here, all working conditions and all operating conditions benefit by sound control, year-round temperature and humidity control, and controlled lighting. Structures for every purpose and for every type of industry are designed by Austin engineers and constructed throughout the United States and across the seas from Cape Town, South Africa to Hankow, China. These completed Austin projects are thoroughly modern and functional, from the pleasing exterior to the smallest hidden detail of construction. The Austin Company has offices from coast to coast and designs small buildings and large for all the great industries that make America great. <laughs>